Utilising the fact that there are seven continents on the planet Earth, and we are of course HITC 7s, we have previously looked at the best footballer from each of the seven continents right now, and each continent's greatest footballer of all time. The first of those is our most viewed video ever, and the second didn't do too bad either, so we're contemplating a continents-based series. We could do each continent's best manager, each continent's best paid player, most successful club, biggest stadium, and many more. Just let us know which you'd like to see from us in the comments. Today we're looking at goalkeepers, so here is our take on the best goalkeeper from each of the seven continents. Asia, Jo Hyun Woo. Whilst the best right now and greatest of all time continents videos were largely pretty straightforward to put together, this one was a real head scratcher, with only one indisputable pick, in my opinion. In the interest of clarity, when it comes to Eurasian countries like Russia and Turkey, we have classed them as Europe, since in footballing terms at least, they are European. With respect to Asia, it was a choice of two players, Mets and Japan shot stopper Eiji Kawashima and South Korean number one Jo Hyun Woo. Maybe his impressive World Cup performances are tainting our perspective, but in the end, we've gone for the South Korean. Still only 26, Hyun Woo has made the K-League best 11 three times. Currently contracted to Daegu, Hyun Woo has great reflexes, handling and distribution, and he has been talked about as a potential option for Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. Africa Carlos Khomeini. For a long time, the obvious choice for Africa would probably have been Vincent Anyama, the 35-year-old Nigerian who racked up 101 caps before retiring from the international scene in 2015. However, Anyama hasn't played any football in over a year having fallen out with the club hierarchy at Lille, who narrowly avoided relegation to Ligue 2 last season. Then we come to the likes of Atuma Lankune and Andre Anana, but we think Carlos Khomeini is the pick of the bunch. Another veteran at 34 years of age, Khomeini racked up more than 300 La Liga appearances with Espanyol and Malaga, before joining Turkish giants Fenerbahce last summer. A well-rounded shot stopper who has racked up some 70 caps for Cameroon, Khomeini made 9 appearances in the Turkish Super League last season. Europe, David De Gea Ok, I anticipate this won't make me particularly popular, although not picking De Gea would have made me equally unpopular, so it was a real lose-lose. There are a number of fine European goalkeepers, from Jan Oblak to Hugo Lloris and Thibaut Courtois, but the standout two are Manuel Neuer and David De Gea. I would say Neuer has had the more impressive career to date, a higher level of peak performances and undoubtedly a greater influence upon the game. However, based on pure ability, our pick is De Gea. The Manchester United shot stopper has been worth at least 10 points a season, every season, for the last five campaigns at Old Trafford. He has been named as the club's player of the year three times and has made the Premier League team of the year five times. Neuer meanwhile has just returned from a lengthy injury, but we wouldn't bet against him returning to his best in the near future. North America, Kaylor Navas. This too will be a controversial choice I suspect, although it really shouldn't be. Kaylor Navas has been Real Madrid's undisputed first choice for the last three seasons, during which time he has racked up more than 130 appearances, and Real have won three consecutive Champions League titles. Navas has rarely let Real down in that time, and if they do sign Thibaut Courtois this summer, Navas will either put up a brave fight for that number one shirt, or move on with his head held high. The next best North America has to offer will be Guillermo Ochoa, who is very impressive for Mexico, but has had a pretty miserable club career over the last four years, and Tim Howard, who has had a very good career, but is 39 years old now. All in all, it has to be Navas. South America, Edison. South America presents an altogether much trickier choice. We're big fans of Argentina's Jeronimo Rulli, and despite his World Cup clangor, Uruguay's Fernando Muslera. But the top two would have to be Brazil's Alisson and Edison. Brazil boss Chiche clearly prefers Alisson, but then he only took Brazil to a World Cup quarterfinal, so what does he know? We'd go for Edison, who is an exceptional all-round sweeper keeper. A thoroughly competent shot stopper and a quite brilliant footballer by goalkeeping standards, Edison enjoyed an excellent debut season at Man City. Still only 24, Edison is only likely to improve, and that should be a frightening prospect for any of Man City's future title challengers. Australia slash Oceania, Matthew Ryan. When we said there was only one really straightforward selection we suspected few would argue with, this is the one we meant. The third Premier League player in this seven, Ryan joined Brighton from Valencia last summer. 
a decent enough goalkeeper, the 26-year-old is closing in on a half century of caps for Australia already, and he stands a good chance of overtaking his childhood hero Mark Schwarzer as the nation's most capped player one day. The only other candidate would be fellow Aussie Brad Jones, whose career has enjoyed a renaissance in the Netherlands now aged 36, but we'd put him second to Ryan. Antarctica, Mikael Flippers. He may now be playing in the second tier of the Antarctic Peninsula Football League, but there are a few doubts among those on the ice as to who remains the continent's finest shotstopper. Although he could seem young to us at 12 years old, Flippers is a veteran by Penguin standards, yet he is still renowned for his agility and lightning reflexes, which more than make up for his diminutive size. Nicknamed the Snow Wall, Flippers has the second most clean sheets in Antarctic history, and has saved 28 out of the 29 penalties he has ever faced. Russia reportedly tried to get Mikhail to represent them at the 2018 World Cup on home soil in place of Igor Akinfi, due to a supposed Russian grandparent in Flippers' lineage, but their attempts were thwarted by FIFA, who discovered that there have in fact never been any penguins in Russia. Right, I'm sorry we don't have many pictures of goalkeeping penguins, but the slight problem is that they don't actually exist. And for those of you in the comments who have suggested that we mix it up by going for a polar bear instead of a penguin, there are no polar bears in Antarctica. Polar bears are native to the Arctic in the North Pole, not Antarctica, which is the South Pole. And as daft as this segment may be, I'm not going to start making such blatant ecological errors. And whilst there are other animals which inhabit Antarctica, I just don't think a football playing krill is realistic or amusing. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. So that's it for our seven. Thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more from us if you enjoyed the video, and you can now also follow us on Twitter for more ramblings from me. Our username is simply at HITC7s.